Hi, I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Today's video is a little bit of a different kind of video. This is a what not to do to your Vaquetta bags video and how I ruined mine. So if I can help you to not go through the same thing that I went through, then I hope I can. So please don't leave me any ugly comments. I know what I did wrong which is why I'm doing this video. So hopefully somebody else will not do something wrong. I will be inserting pictures. I did not um, film it um, when I did the damage and um, I got it to the store the next day to get it in for repair. So the bag that I damaged, I just picked up today. Um, they were very nice enough to um, give me a drawstring dust bag because um, I did not leave it. They told me not to leave it with one. So they did give me a dust pad. So you already know what it is. One of my most favorite and one of my most cherished and meaningful bags. It is my Hawaii Never Full, which was a gift from my husband on our 25th wedding anniversary. This summer, you've heard me complain <laughs> many, many, many times how Nashville has been just wicked and every single day has a chance of rain. Well, most days it really doesn't rain um, or it'll sprinkle like 30 minutes from here or, you know, it's not widespread showers. I had enough of not using my beautiful bag, so I decided to carry it. It was sunny when I left the house. I ran to the mall for a few quick errands and as soon as I walked outside, I got caught in the rain. There was a few spots, I was almost to my car, and I cannot even see the spots anymore that were on the interior. Actually, I can. I don't know if it will show. There's one right there. Just tiny little spot right there, which usually, I don't know. I don't know if that will show at all. Um, nothing on the straps on the sides. The front was fine, but on the back, and um, I believe it was this this one. It had one little drop of water. It was not a big deal. It shouldn't have touched it. I should have left it alone. Let it just eventually even out with the patina. But no, no, that's not what I did. Because if you watch me, you know that I am very uptight with my bags. I baby them. I take the best care of them that I can, but I do use them and love them, but I do not abuse them. I have several friends who have Vaquetta bags who have extremely different attitudes than me. They will take their brand new bag and they will wear it out in a rainstorm and they won't blot it and they don't care and they don't care if their patina is uneven and um, that's fine if that's you, but that is not me. <laughs> I want it even and I want it perfect. So what was a tiny little spot, and I will insert pictures, turned into a massive greasy looking thumbprint. Just awful. So I took it in. I was talking to the most lovely sales associate and to the manager, and both were saying, you know, I personally, if it was my bag, I would not pay to fix it. I was asking to have all of the leather replaced. I was willing to pay the money because this bag is extremely special to me. As I've said, this is a forever bag. And they were talking to me and they said, I think you can just do the handles if you really want to. So the handles were $240 plus tax. I cannot remember what the cost of the entire leather was anymore because uh, it's been about five, right about five weeks, four or five, you know, somewhere in there. The memory doesn't work that far back <laughs> unless I write that stuff down. So the lady was telling me though that you can request now that they have patinaed um, replacement parts. Now not if you had like a super old bag with really, really dark uh, vaquetta, but mine, as you can see, this is all the original, all the piping and all of this is all original and you can see the new matches very well. So they did give me, I mean, it does have a slight tan to it, but um, it goes very well. So I just need to put it in a sunny window and um, get it to, you know, get a little bit more honey to it. So let me show you what not to do, what I did. The very first thing that I did 
was I tried a white eraser. Now I knew not to use magic erasers. I have heard horror stories about that being drying on bags and just doing really awful things. But um, this is just a plain white eraser from an office supply store. And this is the one I used. And you can see there's barely any um, eraser mark off of that. All this did, I feel, was um, roughen up the little patch that I was working on and kind of make the leather a little bit rougher. So then I tried something. And these are things I have seen so many people on YouTube say, this is how to get your vaquetta if you have a spot or to make it even or to do this or to that. I watched a whole bunch of videos before I did this. So that's why I'm making mine. And, and if your opinion differs, I totally respect that. But I was not happy with what ended up with mine. So the next thing I tried were just these water wipes, which I've heard fabulous things about. I did not buy these um, for um, my handbags for anything to do with cleaning my bags. If I ever get anything on the canvas, I just take a damp white washcloth and wipe it down. I don't see the point of this, but I do use these um, to clean my makeup brushes in between when I give them a really thorough soapy washing. And um, I realized that the baby wipes I was using had some chemicals in them, so I switched to water wipes. So I used water wipes on the area. And at that point, I tried to go a little bit up just to see if it would start to blend. I didn't want to do the entire straps at this point, just to see. I let it sit overnight, and the next day, it still looked really, really bad. So I tried again with the eraser, tried again with the water wipes, let it sit again, and then probably the worst thing that I could have done, and I do use this on my bags with great luck. I have used this on a lot of my older Chanel bags. It is Cadillac uh, Boot and Shoe uh, Care, and it is for all colors, leather, vinyl, reptile, and other exotic skins, cleans, polishes, protects, and conditions. I have used this on a lot of bags, not Vaquetta, ever on Vaquetta leather, but I have used this on a lot of my other leather bags with really great results. So I'm not saying any of these products are bad. I'm just saying the combination. And I think also part of it is that this bag um, had such a light patina. And there's a little bit more of the water spots like right there, which, you know, 100% had I not touched it at all, it would have blended in and it would have been just fine. <laughs> it would have just been all right. But, um, I really think that to be using leather care, you need to have older, drier. You know, I've seen people clean really, really dirty, speedy handles and then, you know, do some sort of conditioner after that. Um, this bag isn't, I mean, brand new. It's um, two years old. It'll be two years old uh, in uh, November. So it's not, you know, brand, brand new. But I also am not really a tote girl anymore and I don't use it a ton. So it was very, very light and it just was the wrong combination. It was just the whole storm. <laughs> it was the wrong thing to do. So if you're like me and you're very cautious and it, it bothers you to have an uneven patina, which some people, you know, some people have a, you know, I bought this and I'm gonna wear it and I don't care what happens to it and that's just not me and i am gonna wear it and i am gonna use it but i'm also gonna baby my bags and take the best care of them that i can they're expensive i want them to last me a long time and if it is something unlike this one but if it is something that i you know may want to sell down the road i really want to make sure it's in the best shape possible so that if i do sell it that i can get the highest profit or as close to what i paid for it as possible which um, you know, you know my feeling on that. There's very few that are true investment bags, but yeah, so just wanted to tell you what I did. And if, like I said, if you're like me and you get caught in the rain, leave it, don't touch it, let it dry, take a 
dry cloth. This is what they were telling me today at Louis Vuitton. Take a dry cloth and just blot the area. And like I said, the ones, it took me a very long time to find the little water spots that were around the edges because they've just blended in over the four weeks. And that one would have, it would have taken a little bit longer because it was a little bigger of a spot, but it would have blended in and I would have saved I think it was 260 something dollars today that I, that's a, that's a hard lesson learned, <laughs> but it was worth it to me just because I love this bag so much. So be cautious when you are watching people who are constantly telling you to wipe down your vaquetta and to get it wet. Um, anytime I have tried anything like that in the past, I have not had really good results. I haven't gotten uh, more of a patina or anything like that. Um, they were just telling me today, you know, sit it in a sunny window, rotate it around, and just, you know, let it do its thing and relax a little bit. <laughs> so I am going to try to do that. And um, while I was in there today, they have a lot of new releases and I saw one that was really cute. It is called the um, Clapton. Uh, it's a backpack or a crossbody. And I'm going to insert some pictures of that just, just for fun at the end of this because it was really cute. It's the first new release I have seen in a long time that I was like, I really like that. It was very comfortable. It was really cute. I wish it came in more colors. It only comes in a pink and in a cream. I wish it came in black, but the pink is really, really pretty, but I'm going to insert that. But hope this was helpful. If you're trying to clean your vaquetta, just be cautious and um, take everybody's advice with a little bit of a grain of salt and consider the age of their bag, the condition of their bag versus yours. And um, I really do not recommend the erasers. <laughs> I think it's just, and this thing feels so soft to the touch. This is not anything like the magic eraser, but I just think it's too abrasive. And I know people swear by these, but this is just, as I said, my opinions. But I hope you have an amazing day and I hope to talk to you again very soon. And I am so happy <laughs> to have my bag back and I will not be carrying it with any shot of rain in the future. Oh, no more vaquetta, no more things I can't wear in the rain. I live in a rainy area, <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much, you take care, bye-bye.